Hi, right, everybody. This is Carlos here. I'm with Andre. We're in Trenton at Isles, uh, one of their urban ag spots. And Andre is going to tell a little bit about the program that he's a part of. He's recently transitioned, and I don't want to uh, give away too much, so he's going he's gonna to okay. share with us. I'm Andre Thomas, training manager for um, Isles Center for Energy and Environmental Training. I've been with Isles for 16 years this July. Um, for the first seven years, I worked with the youth program. We also have an Isle Youth Institute where we train young folks on um, getting towards their high school diploma, but also training for life skills, prepare them for the world of work, and also how to be good citizens. Um, so doing that work, you know, I worked with them and really tried to um, help them see their way through some of the issues that they may have, um, try to get them back on the right track. Um, but for the past eight years or nine years, I've been doing energy and environmental training. I'm a um, licensed lead inspector risk assessor. I'm also a uh, building performance institute certified building analyst. And I train contractors on how to do lead, lead work safely. Um, we are part of an EPA accreditation. We're able to train um, contractors doing renovation work um, that work in the pre-70 housing. We train them on how to do the work in a lead safe manner because lead is a real issue not just in, in, in the city of Trenton, but our country as a whole. Um, but lead is a, a, um, a hazard that's microscopic and it hurts our young folks, our children, primarily under six. It, it attacks their brain cells. It also impacts their behavior and learning. Um, so, you know, ours is a part of one training contractors, training to edu the, educate the community, but also training um, folks that deal with older housing on how to maintain a healthy home and also prevent lead. So, you know, we do lead remediation, but also energy and environmental training. How far along do you think for Trenton as a whole, do you think because of the efforts of, of your organization and others mm -hmm. that Trenton is in, as far as uh, remediating the lead problem? Like, do you mm -hmm. think you're a good ways towards it or is there a lot to be done still? Like, still a lot to be done. There's challenges. Um, one, first, you know, educating the community and then also forging partnerships to really get to the work. Um, we're hiring local contractors, training them, getting them out there into the homes but oftentimes it's really getting into the house. So we've trained community health workers to actually go in and do a healthy home assessment, assess not just for lead, but other um, hazards that are in the home. Mm -hmm. So we like to do, you know, we like to also address structural issues that eventually can compromise the lead in the home and cause more deterioration and also other issues that Im impact the home and the health of the home. So we deal with structural issues that, you know, for instance, a, roof, a house that has a roof leak it gets into the home, it causes mold, children mm -hmm. in the house have asthma, yeah. there's lead in the home, it deteriorates it, so, you know, that's the work, but in terms of getting the work done, there's still a lot of work to be done, educating folks, getting folks in and do the application so that we can get in and do the work, but it's a challenge putting the word out because a lot of times people don't know what they don't know, yeah. and a lot and of times, exactly yeah, yeah, they right. don't know yeah, what yeah. they don't know, well, and they don't talk know a lot the norm, about that and, and yeah. if you, you know, if you, if you, you're, <laughs> You're living in Trenton and you know, you're kind of, you, you get used to the conditions and you yeah. don't even realize the harm. So a lot, our role is to educate folks yeah. so they're aware of the threat and um, and then talk about how harmful it is and how harmful it is to the children. It impacts them throughout their lives. And a lot of times people don't even realize the threat. Sometimes even the medical personnel don't even realize, you know, that children can be led poison and it impacts their behavior. Yeah. So we also want to, you know, connect to the education community because if I'm dealing with a child, that has reading issues or behavioral issues, we're treating it, but we're not even aware of the, the underlying cause is lead. Yeah. So a lot of it is educating the community and connecting with other partners that deal with these populations to really, you know, to get to the home. Yeah. Because the home is a threat. Yeah. So it's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. It's a lot of work to be done and we're, 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 we're pushing forward by um, really trying to get a lot of folks. I do a lot of work talking to folks, you know, you're a natural at this too. Yeah, I can yeah, tell you got yeah, educated you know, like you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, I think you do videos all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing FB live. We've been doing Facebook live. Uh, okay, there you go. To yeah. a lot of community yeah. meetings, yeah. you know. So, you know, it, it's important work, man. And when yeah, you see the stuff start to uh, to take 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 effect, it, it's good stuff too. I did want to ask one question like this, since we're on the verge of summer right now, and that's a big time for youth being involved mm -hmm. in programs like this because they're not going to school full time, mm -hmm. so they right. have that time. Do you have any specific programs that they're going to be involved with or that you foresee or hope hope to come to fruition this summer? Well, you know, one thing, I have a, a special 
special love for gardening. I haven't actually have a garden over there. Oh, you got one of the plots? Yeah, I got one of my incubated gardens. And I, I okay. think we should connect our young folks to gardening because it has a lot of um, a, a lot of messages in it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's just a peaceful thing to do and to see that transformation take place. You know, you can really attribute, you know, you can really connect your, your life to that because it has a lot of life processes. Um, but we do have a group going out to Princeton Morven um, for about eight weeks. And we've been doing that for the past, wow, Morvin's been around, because I was managing Morvin for the first five years I was here. So we've been doing that for a while, but students go out to Princeton Morvin, which is um, the former governor, it used to be a governor's mansion years ago, mm -hmm. um, but it goes all the way back to Richard Stockton. He actually owned the Morvin plot, and it was, it was purchased by Robert Wood Johnson. He had it for a while. And then um, the last governor that was housed there was Governor Governor Burns, um, and that was back in the 80s. So now it's it's just a historic spot, but they do a lot of gardening there. So it's an opportunity to connect the youth there, and they educate them on um, on the history of Morven, and a lot of so it's an educational, but it's also an opportunity for them to work. So it turns into like a, an internship where they work. So they're doing that in the summer, and hopefully we can connect some of them in the garden out here as well. Okay. You know, so that's that's yeah. one of the goals. We got other other things that, that they're doing um, to keep them engaged and working. All right, cool. I'm gonna have, have to put that on my spot. I have a question. Yes. Yeah, sure. Clarification. Sure. I'm new to the organization, so uh -huh. um, from my understanding, some of the lead work that we've been doing now mm -hmm. for however many, maybe 10, right. 20 years, you mm -hmm. would know, has be become re recognized on a larger scale, mm -hmm. maybe uh, even nationally, mm -hmm. where other cities and towns and municipalities are duplicating the work that we've done because it works right. so well like why you know reinvent the wheel right. best practices kind of situation so mm -hmm. uh, if you could just clarify for mm -hmm. me if that's true and to what extent yes. has it been duplicated and replicated across um, wherever the nation or, or the state or however far yes that's a good point um so because ours has been doing it you know um for yeah, up to 20 years now for over 20 years we've been um educating folks on healthy housing so since then we've become the national satellite for the new for, we become the new jersey satellite for the national center for healthy housing so what that gave us an opportunity to leverage funding through the department of health to educate other communities newark um uh, newark camden and new brunswick were targets that we had in this collaboration to train their home visitors and also health care providers we train them on healthy housing and during that training we were able to um train over 800 folks in one year um, just on healthy housing. So making those connections and also, you know, showing them, you know, how we attack the lead issue um, was, was really key because we were able to really um, make the training statewide. So yeah, we, we, we've been known statewide by other organizations and, and, and they come to us to get the training, but a lot of the training we do is train the trainer. So we're trained their staff to train other their constituents so that we can do the goal is to get the healthy homes uh, word out anyone going into a home we want them to understand that treat the house from a holistic perspective that you know there's various threats um, and, and if you have a sick house you have sick people so yeah, you know you got lead you got asthma you got all sorts of things and a lot of it um, comes from you know how you maintain a home um, and, and also um, how you clean your home. So we not only educate them, we also give them good tools on how to maintain it. But yeah, to answer your question, we have done it statewide. We're working with, um, you know, other agencies across the state to 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 to, to spread the word on healthy housing and, and lead as well. And uh, I want to make sure to introduce, I, it's my bad, we're going to actually do another video in a minute. This is Justin Allen, who, uh, like you said, joined Man, the Jay. program. Joined the program in this, January. This yeah, year? just started yeah, the new year here. I've uh, been doing urban agriculture work in Newark for four and a half years prior, and I've been gardening since as early as I can remember. So, yeah. I really have a passion for plants and also people. I love connecting and talking to people. Mm -hmm. When the plants and the people connect, it's just exponential. It's like, yeah. 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 That's right. And actually, I went to Justin's spot in Sussex County. That was the first day, full day I started my journey was I went to your spot up there. Justin wasn't there, but I pointed out that that's how good of a place it was. He's got a lot. Like here, there's some fruit trees in the back there that you're going to be planting, I found out soon. And uh, Justin has a lot of fruit trees and bushes at this spot up in uh, Sussex County, New Jersey, where you just leave them, let the plants do their thing. 
and they're going to provide for him and the community in years to come once they get well established. So, so a lot of foresight comes with gardening. You know, you're not just trying to get your food today. It's have people be able to get their food in the future. So yeah, so I have a lot of admiration for uh, what everybody's doing that's involved with these programs like these. And can I say, so I just met Justin, and since I've met him, he taught me a lot. You know, and I've been gardening for a couple years now, but in the short time that I've known Justin, he's taught me a lot about gardening. He's very passionate about it, and um, he's a great resource. I love to talk to him about it. He loves the stuff, and you know, I love to learn. So, like Word you said, come. when they come together, you know, exponential. Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll end it there.